This is how you start the service and end the service as a media operator. First thing, uh, when you start, we're gonna have the walk-in slides um, as usual. The slides will start running by themselves at about 15 minutes uh, before the service starts. So let's imagine it's Sunday morning and it's 15 minutes till the service starts and the slide should auto, uh, auto fire all by themselves. Um, do not start looping the slides, they will come on by themselves. Um, if you notice that the service is say 14 minutes in the future and the slides have not auto started, in that case you're welcome to get them going. All right, so once the slides have started rolling, you'll notice there's no audio with them. So once you see that uh, the timer has fired, the slides are going, it's really simple. Just click the gray slide and that will start the music. Okay, so once you see before the service starts, slides are rolling, just click that gray slide and that's it. The music starts and they'll keep rolling until it's time to start the service, at which point you can click the F1 key or clear all key and you're ready to go. Um, or you can just click the first slide uh, for the week and that'll also do it. All right, so that's at the beginning of the service. Now let's say you're at the end of the service. We've uh, sung the final song and the benediction is happening. There we go. As soon as the benediction concludes, click the gray slide. Um, that slide is disabled, but so you have to click on it directly. So click on, don't use the arrow, the arrow will skip over it. Click on the slide, music will start up all by itself and the slides will start rolling. So again, after the benediction goes, so we're doing the benediction, as soon as they stop talking, we wanna create the minimal gap possible. So as soon as the speaker stops with the benediction, gray slide, and you're done. And those will roll for 15 minutes all by themselves with music.